previously on Ecom. Jeb and I made a bet, uh, the outcome of which you will only know after it has happened. But the bet uh, hinges on who is going to die. That because of the name of the the names of the episodes coming up, I said I think Caitlyn will die, and Jeb said he thinks Killer Frost will die. So we'll see who dies, and whoever loses will have to do something. So be excited. And if neither of them die, we all die in real life. No, <laughs> no, she's dead. They're too slow. No, dramatic. So no. It's true because they're doing the slow motion. Oh, no. It's definitive now. But she's dead, so I win. I guess we can record next Thursday, and then I'm gonna prepare next Thursday for um, yes, the thing. Tune in next week. It's gonna be great. For more flash fun. For so more gonna be fun our, for the new team member, it's Mark. Show. It's gonna be our best intro. It's gonna be the best intro. There you are, you daft cunt. Finally. Fuck off. Like, yeah. where were you? <laughs> your mom. Two... You were three minutes late. Oh, boo hoo hoo. At least, it, at, least it's a, at least I didn't miss a fucking episode like last time. You're, it's just saying at least, as if it was Jeb who did that, but it was you. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's not like a gotcha <laughs> or anything, Tin. You're just like, oh, at least I was better than myself the last time I was fucking crying. Yeah, well, well that's the only standard I can hold myself to. Sure. I've been the highlight of these reactions. Every funniest well, event, I'm at the forefront. Anyway, when, when, am I, when, am I, when, when am I the highlight of anything? You're really, you really expecting me to be the highlight of something. You're setting yourself yeah. up for disappointment there. Ah, uh, alright. So, hello, people. We're watching this. Um, we are here today uh, to watch an episode of The Flash, but before we do so, I gotta pay the fucking uh, bad that I lost. <laughs> oh, I hate this fucking. I hate Jab. I hate. Alright, uh, we'll give the context after for those that are not Flash super fans. Like yeah, all. in case you haven't been watching since at it's, least season three. You're not a super fan like the man in the yellow tie. Oh, yeah, this one's for you, the man <laughs> yeah. from IT. This one's for from you. From your favorite episode, no doubt. <laughs> Did he actually defend that episode? <laughs> I wouldn't oh, doubt if he did. He defends every episode, so... That's a good point. Let's fucking go! We're about to hear a singing maestro. <laughs> Can't say how the days will unfold Can't change what the future may hold But I want you in it Every hour, every minute This world can race by far too fast Hard to see while it's all flying past But it's clear now When you're standing here now I am meant to be Wherever you are next to me it, All I want <laughs> to do is come running home to you, come running home to you. In all my life, I promise to keep running home to you, keep running home to you. And I could see it right from the start, right from the start that you would be Be my light in the dark, light in the dark, oh You gave me no other choice but to love you All I wanna do Come running home to you Come running home to you In all my life I promise to Keep running home to you Keep running home Home to you Watch out Iris, she's coming for your man <laughs> 
can't say how the days will unfold can't change what the future may hold but i want you in it every hour every minute we did it whoa no you did it to the laugh yeah. you know, i did yeah. do the laugh i did but we gotta go right from the start. Yeah, fuck Barry you. I kill yourself. <laughs> so yeah. Hey. Can you, can you put the, the actual laugh from the episode next to it? So like, because I, I don't remember the laugh. We need some context for that. But I want you in it. But I want you in it. It's just like he, you can hear him smiling as he's singing. That's basically it. As the Flash Encyclopedia, I shall give the context for this. So, in season three of The Flash, we had someone called Savitar, Big Meanie, uh, I am the future Flash, uh, no comma, wink wink. Um, <laughs> and Savitar wants to kill Iris to basically cause Savitar to exist, a bootstrap paradox. Um, and this whole situation causes Barry to consider his future and to propose to Iris. He kind of doesn't lose her or anything. And that was the song he sang. Yes, it's uh, the song he sang as he proposed to her in the season she was going to die at the end. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yay. I did it. Woo. All right. Now let's watch episode 14. I'm never they taking haven't a divorced bet Yes. <laughs> they haven't divorced yet, so this all goes strong. I'm sure... I'm sure that after that singing, the the man in the yellow tie is no longer transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Red Sky, you've, you've, you've graduated from demon to high angel with that singing voice. <laughs> high angel. Yeah. I like how I turned into Super for Ezra the, the, Miller. The, the, the pearly white gates of heaven will now play Running Home to You by Sky Spectrum. <laughs> oh, yes. I can definitely, yeah. Uh, all right. I hope you so guys have episode fourteen. Me. I'm actually making my ringtone. Don't you dare, Jeff! <laughs> I, might, no. I will. Uh, I, my granddad made. I hate <laughs> all of you so much. To be fair, I did my this on granddad... myself. I, I, I just wanted to hear Jeb singing. It would have been funny because I thought, no, surely Kaylin's gonna die. And nope. It was that stupid bitch who survived. Fuck this retarded. Uh, my, Play stupid my games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> yes, good exactly. Point. I mean, my granddad may have died, and that may be his favorite song, but I'm sorry. And I have to write episode open this time. I'm proud of you. Oh, I thought good. it was going to play the I meet you. I'm so. <laughs> is this it's like a, a no? Is this is like a grieving Killer Frost montage. The first person is... should be shown oh, is yeah. Caitlin. Yeah, why? I guess she's going to be the last. Man, this is awful already. The first beginning, the, first, yeah. the montage has chest up more and more. What the fuck is. What? Did they not have a set? They always have that. This looks like a fucking green screen. I'm not, I'm not to brag or anything, but I sank better than that. I don't know, it looks real to me. This is why the CW is being sold for nothing. This is why Superman was left, the, left the Arrowverse, because they didn't want to be part of this chain. Yeah. Oh, that was a transition. Oh, Barry. <laughs> If it helps, Sky sang your song. <laughs> <laughs> now Iris is mine, Barry. Oh no, oh, no. NMT Barry. Are you really what cutting you a fucking flashback of the to the last episode? I'm not gonna lie. This was they've the had, previous like, episode. Th they've done less for worse staffs. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so it just cuts you- okay. No Caitlyn, okay. Did we really oh, lost see okay. Caitlyn? Out of all people. I guess they're saving to <laughs> show that yo, she's like fucking drunk at her apartment or some bullshit like that. Yo, the music. <laughs> yeah. The fuck is this music? Why does he have nerf stuff around it around all of them? Well hello, officers. The fuck? why does he sound like Bane as well? <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of Bane. <laughs> What's happening? What okay. Ah, it's okay, this intro is so loud. Yeah. What the fuck has happened so far? Crew. This is some of the worst <laughs> pacing. I'm so confused. The sad montage moan over to then just a uh, man in toy yeah. clothes just about to cross the cops. that's CGI. Oh hey, Barry, can stop right to talk? That's nerf cool. Commercial. I'm so not in this. Wait, what? They can teleport? Wait, Allegra can yeah. teleport? Jeb! Apparently. No! Wait, what? Apparently. Allegra can teleport! She teleported. 
Jeb, last episode, she was stuck inside the fucking place in Star Labs with Chester. Not only are we trapped in here, but in that room, they were gonna die. She can teleport herself and someone else. And here you are, trapped in a room. Wait, since when did she have powers? Oh, she's always uh -huh. had powers. I guess you just forgot. But she has had powers all season. When did she use them? Uh, remember when she fought her cousin? She used her powers. All right. A lot of people in there. Why did Barry just run ahead? Don't stop to talk. Allegra Cecile, I'm gonna use my lightning to weld those girders back together. Take this guy down. Take this guy down. You, if you if Barry, it's not a good idea to Snow use a, oh, like a no, cold I don't. I don't want Allegra. Don't use Allegra. <laughs> hey, snow pants. Snow pants? Yes, because she it's just white missed. and pants. How did she miss? I don't fucking really? know. Knocked her out, but she's still breathing. Knocked her out? What? Oh, come on. What the fuck what is the happening? Fuck? What are you fucking You're not useless? gonna stop this no. guy. You have your powers are to reach people's emotions. If you can try to calm his emotions, that could depower the suit. Don't try to mess with my head. <laughs> what just happened? It's all of my grief from Frost. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, all of the, the grief. grief of oh, you, the grief you are feeling from Frost, it's fucking up your, your power. That's so dumb. Pathetic. Worst heroes ever. Yeah, that damn right. Wait, you could Wait, go invisible that entire time. Why didn't he? I'm, I'm sorry. So, that was one of the worst. No, thanks to you. Oh, Madvika, when you're writing your season 8 video, that scene, good job summarizing it. Because there's so much wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> so much incompetence. It's kind of great. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> We still haven't seen Caitlyn. I'm telling I you, Caitlyn's gonna be like drunk in her apartment crying, and that's we're gonna cut to her, and Barry's gonna be like, "You gotta keep running home to Frost." And that's <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> <bring> it again. <laughs> I like how this death is impacting him more than like any other death. It's really weird. I know grief is very um intangible, but hasn't Frost tried to kill him? Like technically, like. I yeah, but she's, she's redeemed herself. She actually has, to be fair. She was a hero this season. She sacrificed herself to save Caitlyn. I think it's fine. How am I supposed to tell people who just lost a family member they need to find a way to mourn and still get the job done? You've done this, Barry. Yeah, it's been eight You've years. You've done this many times. Caitlyn literally lost Ronnie. I think y'all had dealt with it. You have lost multiple whales. You lose whales nearly every season. <laughs> 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 Not all whales, and there have been seasons. I don't understand. I mean, ironically, because Joe the Barry. the castle whales died, isn't that right, Jim? They killed every whale. Yeah. Speaking of, where's Caitlin? I didn't want to bother her. I think she's preparing for the funeral. Yeah, oh, so like that's Joe it. Barry. She's she's preparing for the funeral. That's fine. -ish. It's not, it's just like it was, I would very much prefer to see her reaction than anyone else's. To be fair, but whatever. I mean, we're not. We don't see Mark's reaction either. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mark. I guess Mark is with Caitlin preparing the, the funeral. I guess. Hey, okay. there she is. Oh, oh there she is. Didn't realize we were having a team meeting. Figured you might need some alone time. She came back from the funeral planning pretty quick. Wait, so did they just assume she was planning the funeral? I know how hard it can be to organize a funeral. Actually, my mom is handling all the arrangements. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess they did. So. Apparently. Good for you, guys. Because I'm not going to any damn funeral. Okay. It's also weird that they're oh, not really geez. tackling that she also lost the chance of Ronnie again. Yeah. Like Barry said. Yeah, you go, Joe Barry. Now Frost is gone. And we all need to mourn her, but we also need to find a way to protect this city. But like Barry said, we just lost a family member. And that pain will keep us from protecting those in need. Allegra's such a shit actress. Thanks for repeating everything that everything Barry just said. Joe. <laughs> That's why he's called Joe Barry, right? <laughs> That's why he's called Joe Barry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we face it and heal. Yeah, man, how are we supposed to do that? Look, Chester, you have literally done this all your life with your dad. This was part of your arc. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I just I don't understand anymore. By honoring Frost, I took watercolor classes at the community center because Frost made me promise that I would try to express myself through art. Through art? What are you saying? What? Joe's talking about fucking art. This came so out of nowhere. I guess that's like something he did in it's, season it's a seven. It's a metaphor. And we all have to find our own ways to honor her. 
Why are we focusing on Allegra first? I don't know why this show cares so much about Allegra. I mean, I know why. I sent that tweet talking about why. Because it's uh, the, the showrunner created Allegra in the comics. So it's basically his, his OC. Yeah. Which is kind of pathetic. I, what? Okay. What? Okay. I guess, what? I guess chapter... Is that the name of the episode? No, no, no. I think we're going to follow them three chapters. So we're going to have a Nyer chapter, a Barry chapter, a Caitlyn chapter kind of shit. Wait, so are um, we... Is this... Inspired by Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh yes, of course. The the <laughs> first Sim to ever Zack include Flash. The, the first Sim to ever include chapters was uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. You're so right, Tim. Yes. He's you the know. blueprint. Why is it for us to be commemorated as a national hero or city hero? I'm gonna write a special obituary for her on CCC. Well, I, I, I don't think if nobody uh, anybody knows she died. All we had was like the fucking uh, Killer Frost fucking what? drink at Jitters, but, but I assume that's just a thing they had already. Yeah, yeah that's already what they had, but they're, she's in her obituary on Killer Frost, which means they're gonna know she died. Why not organize an honoring to her with Kramer? When you interviewed last year, you mentioned writing obits once? Four Stars and Stripes. When I was on active duty with the army in Afghanistan, sometimes I'd help write obits. Do you think that you could take over Frost obit for tonight's headline? I could have it ready in, say, an hour. An hour? No. Well, take your time. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not gonna write that in one hour. It's like I, one of Iris's best friends. You know what I'm scared about this show? I'm scared they're just gonna, like, be like, she might not really be gone and they'll bait that. No, no one's no, ever no. really gone. Remember? Surely. And a character whose actor still in the show doesn't need to come back. Like, please let this be final. It was a pretty good death, all things considered. I just hope Frost never comes back. I wanted to see how you're doing. Why are you Scalen's a... mom asking Iris how she's doing? Should it be the, 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 the opposite? Why didn't you write this? At first I felt like if I wrote it, I wouldn't be able to say everything that I wanted to say. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that I don't know what to say. <laughs> Carla, I may have known Frost longer, but I didn't get to know her. What do you mean you didn't get to know her? The show doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, here's one thing I do know. Frost wouldn't care about some obituary that Sunger praises. She didn't give a damn what people thought. She did. That's it. why she died. <laughs> what? No, she died because she... She wanted to save Galen. She was her bodyguard. But also because she didn't feel emotional and she didn't think she exists and she wanted to prove herself. No, she didn't want to prove herself. She needed to experience grief to be able to use the fucking powers. Which means she fucking cares. Could I get that iced drink, the frost? Uh, sure, but it's actually called Killer Frost. Well, it shouldn't be. But that's a super name. Take it up with the manager. It should be called Hell Frost. That was her name last episode. <laughs> That'll make it all better. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Citizen Topia. Citizen Topia is such a retarded name. <laughs> to Topia means city, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Utopia or something means like a, like a city. perfect place or something. Like a perfect yeah, city. And this yeah, thanks, Tim. That was useless. Anyway, uh, Topia means city, so it's like the city of citizens. Well done. Great name. <laughs> call it the CCC or just call it Triple C. Seeing her courage in court, I knew I was on the wrong side of the bench. So the next day, I quit the state prosecutor's office. Now I'm defending Meadows in Star City. I thought you were going to say, now I'm homeless. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's going to erase the killer. He's going to erase it. Oh my god, like It's so amazing. obvious in like a different... Oh my god, so in like a different material. Yeah, the, because they did more than yeah. one take. Because they, the other one was like... Darker blue and like uh, lighter it, lines. It was very clear that it was just made very... Yeah. Yo, please tell me they fuck. D&D, uh, &D. tell me they're playing D&D. &D. Yeah. No, they're gonna, they're, they're One gonna perfect argue. thing to do, play D&D. &D. Play D&D. D&D, D&D, D&D. Just because Joe handed out some greeting card advice doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Shut the fuck up, Allegra. Don't insult Joe Barry. Imagine, like, going against Joe Barry's advice. <laughs> she is such a terrible actress, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and this is a one or so it doesn't help her case. They say sex uh, helps with getting over a hangover. I'm sure it's the same with mourning people, you know. I agree, yes. And grief. <laughs> All they gotta do is just play some d and put it in a glass case with cryo coolers. So that it could create a self-sustained blizzard. 
so it'd stay frozen forever. Let me find out who There's just no way he stuff. drew that just from the one or two lines he drew on that tablet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. At most. Kayla Compton. Well, I, un ironically, she's incompetent, so... You mean a snow globe? It'd help if I wasn't the only one coming up with good ideas. Passive-aggressive much? Getting Hirschfields to put hummus on our sandwiches. Oh, wow. I didn't see you getting butt hurt over a sandwich on the bingo card today. Well, Jeff, did you were, you... were you the one who said we were gonna argue? Because it really is what's happening. Um, so well done. Yeah, I said they were gonna argue. Yo, please tell me they fucked. Uh, D&D, tell me they're playing D&D. No, yeah. No, they're, gonna, they're, they're gonna argue. Are you kidding? Because I don't even what, understand. What are they fucking arguing about? They're fucking arguing that she got hummus in their sand sandwich. Condiment king. I don't need you runk hummus. What the hell? Can you please, <laughs> TV show, can you please cut these two characters out? What's happening? This, it's also <laughs> so clear that they shot this on like a second batch of the season because Allegra looks yeah. way thinner. Easy, condiment king. Which would make you his bitch. Fucking <laughs> phobic. <laughs> you fucking asshole, now Chester has to mop the water up. <laughs> Why did they even argue? They'll argue, and then to make up, they'll play d, &D. Something crazy is happening at O'Shaughnessy's. Mark's get drunk. Oh, it's a Mark. You were right. Yeah, it's Mark. It is Mark. Hey. Yep, there he is. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay in the show forever. Never leave. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad song, but um, the lyrics being I like making bad decisions a bit on the nose. I have a party club! I know writers who use subtext, and they're all cowards. <laughs> oh, that Sorry. supposedly is funny. He's a good actor. Let's keep him as well. Wait, why is he covered in cum? He and Mark throws the bar. <laughs> Hey, Chuckles! Garcia! Please never leave, my guy. Oh. What's your poison? Why did the song stop? Um, he didn't stop because... the song from playing. It was so, it just got out and right. the fucking goofy score started playing. We need to change the tone. Of course. So. Play Running Home to you, Mark. <laughs> the speaker just knew. Can't say how the days will unfold. <laughs> He's kind of insane, this actor. I kind of like him. Ketchup bottle? See? Mustard bottle? Ooh, look. No hummus bottle. It's a condiment. It's a Shut dip. the fuck You're up. Can't Possible. You so. hey! what? what? You two are really killing my party's vibe. Okay, you go, Mark. I love you, man. You're not even fighting. You're just doing what friends do, baby. Helping each other to see the world in your own unique way that's that was actually a good line yeah. what the fuck? that's what frost did for me only i was too dumb to share me with her and now it is too late but i'm glad i got to see things her way hey mark you're great okay i thought that was him so she, like, oh. she really can't just teleport then yeah at least two people what, I, like, what? I don't think this show understands how insane that is you'll never get out of here son Neither will she. She's gonna die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Vicket writing his season 8 video, he just guessed you this episode and has to say, I was hoping oh, that like, the teleportation thing was was not her and uh, was and seal, it was to seal, which do also doesn't make sense, but this just confirms that she can fucking teleport. Yeah, which is the entire point of them being so, trapped inside that fucking room. The trapping trap doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, that's so hilarious. Imagine if they don't do their romance at the end of the season. Imagine if they do at the end of se like tease it at the end of season nine. That's their way of getting a season ten. <laughs> the promise of sex. They end season nine. Oh, let's play D and D, and then before Chester answers, they cut you black. God, and they have to give us a, a tenth season. Yes. Wow, look at all these people you've lost, you guys. These two are fine to be, like, quite new to it, I guess. 
You know, I like the, how yeah, they kind of get the full costumes. They've just got the tops and like a bit of the yeah. Shirt. It's a bit weird at the end of their section. Yo, oh, Barry, okay. the, it's gonna be the Barry. best section. Wait, I just realized they lost Oliver Queen. They did Most lose of Oliver. Is he? They've <laughs> lost many people so far. He is He's trying to build a new frost. A new frost. <laughs> 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 Master Ice Coty, yes, this is, these are things, no, these are things he wants to do to Wonder Frost memories, and they all involve ice, because of course they do. It's Killer Frost's brother, how did he get a bucket mask? That looks, that, oh, yeah, looks, that looks so bad, nah, okay. Very convincing. <laughs> totally isn't a still, still image. Yeah, at least you're consistent, What's... the next item on his list was ice sculpting, so I guess he is ice sculpting. Wait, so Bruh, how the Killer Frost never ice sculpted? She never ice sculpted. learned it I, with I, no, I it's that. because it's ice related, Jeff. It doesn't matter if she did it or not. <laughs> Wait. Barry. <laughs> he put on her oh. He put on her panty! He put her panty! It's like. What? Oh my god. He just oh broke into the room and put the painting. The fuck? That's what she said. I'm so- What the fuck is this episode? I why is this episode- Why is this episode so stupid? It's, a, it's like such a fucking comedy episode. I don't get it. Killer Frost really like hot dogs? Is that why he's doing this? I don't fucking know. Why not, you know, honor her with the city? Make her a city hero? Put up a statue. Speak oh to God. Kramer. Fuck. Yeah, I just talked to Kramer. That's a good point. How long were you in there? What? How the fuck didn't you know? I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> he, he just didn't. He didn't look that way. I guess. Uh, satellite scans, looking for a blockbuster. So the villain's name is literally Blockbuster. <laughs> Wait, so it wasn't. Wait, it is. I thought they were making a joke placement. about blo Blockbuster. All this time, I thought they were looking. No, it for can't. It can't even be product placement I because too. Blockbuster is like closed. So I thought, I thought it's a joke. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is their last resort at reviving the store. The last resort, we need to name a villain Blockbuster in this TV show. I also thought finishing this list would be a way to honor her memory, but even with everything crossed off, that still doesn't feel complete. Yeah, because Barry, your list is retarded, Barry. Well done. I don't I don't understand this president a certain that like Killer Frost is the hardest staff they've dealt with. Because I don't buy it. Not with Oliver Queen and the hat. Yeah, have they done this for every character that was close to them? <laughs> She was no. <laughs> she was literally born to be Caitlyn's savior. I know how to honor Frost's memory. The only one I think is worse, aside from Barry's mother, is his father, because he did Flashpoint. That wasn't honoring him, that was trying to undo it. But, like, as in, like, a grief reaction. Oh, no, but I mean, like, an entire episode dedicated to trying uh, to yeah. honor the memory. The closest we got in honoring Oliver was like the Justice League thing that they've never revisited. Hey, Caitlin, okay, the one character that actually matters in the STEM thing. Oh, no, not Billie Eilish. Everybody died. I don't like <laughs> Billie Eilish. <sighs> I guess it's Can fine. You it's, better than a, it's more better than most of our songs. Well, to be fair, I honored Frost's memory more than anyone else did in this stupid episode, right? Because I sang a song to her. That song was dedicated to Killer Frost. I am running home to Killer yeah. Frost, yes. <laughs> if I was Frost and I heard that, I would have killed myself. This is really poorly shot. Ooh, that Photoshop. Oh, that was... Man. Yeah. yeah. That was... Oh my god. They that did photo. that in three minutes. They were like, okay, you're in makeup. Take off the makeup. Let's take a picture right next to where you were. Okay, okay, let's go. They made the intern do it. They're like, what What experience do you have with Photoshop? Uh, I've only used MS Paint. Yeah, they're like, the episode is airing in 10 minutes. So just, you know, Photoshop, whatever, and we'll edit in After Effects. The intern was the man in a yellow tie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a pain like that we're talking throughout her. this entire scene because the copyright with the song is going to be great, but whatever. Killer Frost had ice cubes Please. inside her. <laughs> you singing over <laughs> No, I can't because just, the, your yeah. audio was recorded over the... the yeah, you fucking the, retard. You don't record the, the footage? You don't insert that separately? No. Well, I gotta watch the episode, right, so... Those were fine transitions to show like how she's just spent all night not sleeping, just morning. 
That was fun. How many, how many ice cubes do you think Killer Frost had inside of her? I'm going I'm not, with I'm five. I'm not going to dignify that one to that answer. I'm just going to How many it. ice creams? Oh, God. <laughs> ice creams? Is this an innuendo? <laughs> I don't f well, No, don't, don't, don't fucking give him any leeway. Just ignore him. In like Fifty Shades of Grey, they probably used ice cubes. It's a thing that people do. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. Sky knows. But ice cream? No, ice cubes, like cube of oh, ice. Okay. <laughs> and they let it melt. Sky's gonna put an image on the screen. No, Jeb, I'm not gonna f put fucking temperature <laughs> pink on a fucking. Well, Frost would just create the ice cubes herself. Exactly, it makes it so much better for her. I feel sorry for Sky in this situation. <laughs> it's fine. I know you were just trying to help. I'm good, honest. I know you'll regret not going to your sister's funeral. I mean, do you hear yourself right now? This isn't even about me. This is about you and your need to be the hero. Yeah, fuck you, Barry. <laughs> this he did one more draft. Like this section. I mean, yeah, it's just Barry being retarded. Mm -hmm. And not everything can just be fixed with speed healing. So if you don't mind, will you please leave? Look, Caitlin, I will leave you alone if that's what you really want. But before I go, just ask yourself, what would Frost want? Yeah, like this is so rushed. This episode should have been the entire 40 minutes all about Caitlin. And then you have the other yeah. characters popping in. But you gotta promise me something. Why would you flash back to the last episode again? You don't have to. I didn't remember this. I have Alzheimer's. I still remember when Barry killed uh, Cisco's brother or whatever. Oh yeah, he did that with Flashpoint, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Season 3 was a fucking fever dream. She'd tell me to stop being an idiot. Get off my ass. And live my damn life. She was the one telling me to be brave. Or that I was never as powerless as others made me feel. Barry, when Frost died... Her singing guy, too. Yeah, I'm a little surprised about how prominent Frost's impact was on all of these people because I haven't watched the, like, two seasons before this. Because she was just kind of a cunt in season three, and that was about it. Yeah, she leaves at the end of season three to figure shit out, and then she's less antagonistic. She's more of an anti-hero as it goes on, and then she becomes a hero. Her voice is still inside you, as long as that's true. She's not really gone. Oh no, don't tell me they're gonna do it. Oh. Go back in time. Go back in time. I'm scared. That was a neat enough dissolve. Oh, they have an open casket. That's nice stuff. Well, they won't have to worry about the body getting cold. <laughs> That's Sorry, but too soon. That's pretty cold, <laughs> magic. That's hey. the best joke I've heard. <laughs> if you said that at a funeral, uh, I'd laugh. <laughs> My granddad had a happy meal put on his box. I'm not kidding. Hey, he lived as he died. No, he died as he lived, eating, eating Happy Meals. Yeah, he was fucking fat. No, he, so. lived, he lived as he died. <laughs> fucking dead. I don't think that makes uh, sense to that's, me. <laughs> yeah. well, what you said didn't make any sense. I was adding even less sense. What sure, Scott said made sense. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just... Yeah, Mark. <laughs> I feel bad for Mark. He's a good actor. He's a good character. Hey, it's Caitlyn. I thought they were gonna f they were focusing on Allegra, and then I saw oh yeah, Caitlyn in the background, very small there, <laughs> because they used the <laughs> the worst lens to make that shot. But whatever. I want to see if there's a random extra. It'd be funny if there was. Most of you know that I did not want to be here today. Seeing her here would make her death seem more real, and I was scared. You see, Frost was always the fearless. Why are you smiling? Why, why does she always have like the the worst reaction? That lady Sue, is the name I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Frost was always honest. Oh, Mark on his own at the back. I thought that I saw my sister laying here. This yeah. is actually good, I will say. Yeah, this so is far. good, yeah. Other than the awful reaction shots of yeah. everyone smiling, it is good. Yeah, and the build up to it. Why is nobody crying except Allegra? And Mark. Allegra is kind of heavy breathing. Oh, uh, but like her yeah, eyes, you can Barry? see they're watery. And... Like, not even the mom, she's not even crying. I saw she's a little trying. twinkle she's in her eye. She's trying very hard. To see what was up. Why did they all look? The reaction shots is the worst part of the scene because it is unironically like really good on Caitlyn's part. Joe looked traumatized at the speech. He's having <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> Lives on in all of us. So if we keep those parts of her alive in us, then she's not really gone. And I can't think of a better way to honor her memory. I'll keep you alive, Frost. I promise. I really hope that's not literal, Caitlin. Oh, that's gonna be a setup, but that's gonna be so. Oh, God, no. no. Oh, Don't no. jinx it. 
Don't jinx uh, it, even though uh, the episodes uh, are already made. Don't jinx it. Uh, 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 they're actually gonna try and undo it. No, please don't. Leave her dead. I don't want to have sung <laughs> for nothing. Was that the episode? No, five I forget minutes if, left. Okay. I forget if I asked this already, but how did they create a clone of her to um, separate Frost and another body? Basically, what happened was is that Kaylee started falling ill and they weren't sure why and then all of a sudden they kind of just split apart there's no clone it was like a biological okay. reaction i don't know okay i think that happened in season seven this is the cleanest spot in the whole house and i would have done a whole lot more if frost hadn't taken my cleaning supplies for her collages <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> this feels good. Why is this music playful here? It should be... It should be like contemplative, because the point is that they're, they're honoring her memory, but they're still mourning. Fucking stupid. I, I hate the way the show uses the score. It's so dumb. Thanks for telling me what I needed to hear anyway. Kind of rushed, but whatever. Ooh. It took two days for them. Hey, block <laughs> Two days. I'm not going to fight for this long. What? Barry, just run. You can stop him very easily. Why haven't you run already? Barry. Barry. Barry? Barry. Go there. Barry. Why did he take Please. Cecile Whoa. again? What can Cecile Please. do? How many Please. fucking people did he just carry? Four. <laughs> no, don't you remember? He carried <laughs> all of them to oh Paris in the end of episode six. Oh, he's gonna run to Paris. Relocate everybody. He carried all of them. Every single one. Don't you remember? Oh. Honestly, what was the point in Blockbuster? He was there mm. to be the inciting incident of everyone realizing they gotta find a way to deal with their grief. I'm scared. I'm scared. He's got something planning in her head. Please, no. She's gonna call her mom and say like, yo, we gonna save- No. Frost. She's gonna call Mark. She's gonna call Mark. Please don't gonna bring be Mark. him back. Her back. Huh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Is that a genome sequencer? No! No, 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 what? no, no! Leave her dead! <laughs> no! What? No. This is all gonna be bait, and it's gonna play into like the finale. It's not gonna actually revive her. Surely. I yeah. hope. Hopefully, I don't want her to. Maybe it'll create a new villain or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> she created a fucking lab. Ah, uh, no. Oh what? God. Come on, Mark. Talk some sense into her. Is this shit from the from Star Labs? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna bring Frost back. Um. There you go. Okay. Oh come on. <laughs> he's gonna bring her back, but she's just gonna be a villain, like pure oh, like, evil. How, how gonna, is she? How is she gonna, gonna, gonna carry the same fucking memories? She's, she's not. She would know this. She's a fucking scientist. She knows how cloning works. I can't believe I predicted this. I know this show too well. <laughs> If the cliffhanger's IRS, what's gonna happen to her? Well, it's the, the, the things disappear. Wait, 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 wait. She still has the time sickness. Why'd she go to work? She's putting people in danger. Either she's gonna disappear or Iris is again. They've just forgotten that potential. She's gonna disappear. Yeah, Iris is disappearing then. What's gonna disappear? It's gonna be her. That'd be funny if she killed someone else. Uh, goodbye, Iris. Oh, Iris disappeared again. Hey. And there she goes. Yeah. Okay. Why is she going to work if she can touch people when they disappear? Why would she not just isolate herself I, in quarantine? I just kind of forgot. Like, in this episode, she's just like, I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to go out to see, to see you. I'm going to forget I have this fucking time sickness. It's fucking stupid. I just realized that. Like, the entire team is fucking retarded for doing that. I'd only, like, forgive, I guess, Caitlyn because she would have had other things in her mind, but... Fucking hell, that's retarded. That's such a stupid... Ah, that's so dumb. And in the yellow tie, with your infinite amount of knowledge and wisdom, explain and defend why this is happening. Yeah, why the fuck was Iris going to work and just hanging out at... Why is she gyms? putting everyone in risk? Yeah, why did she not isolate herself and quarantine herself? Please explain in detail. We will be sure to read your comment. Yeah, I'm sure you have a, a great answer. Yeah, just... Tweet them uh, at MadvocateYT, and uh, we'll get back to you in five to seven business days. Um, <laughs> so that means Dion's in the next episode, at least. Are we watching the next one? Uh, we are. No, are, we are. Okay, well, we can. I, I wasn't planning to, but sure, we can.